Hello guys, Garcia here. Welcome back to Legend of Mana. So we are here in Lumina. So I wrote down all of the words from the uh, dialects of the Dud Bears, which are those uh, green and orange creatures up there. Not the these here, <laughs> the, the bears. So I need to sell a bunch of lamps to them in a quest here in the city. So I need to translate every single phrase that they say here for me to be able to convince them to buy the lamps. I need to sell, like, I think, uh, six lamps. So uh, this is going to take a while because uh, there's a bunch of words here. Almost 20 different words. So uh, let's go. Let's, let's try talking to the, the one close by here first. All right. So let's see how this is going to go. So do the gag, Dada. So uh, Dada is me. So me, gag is displeasure. So me, so probably saying I dislike. And Dubba is means me, me in terms of my character. So I dislike you. So I want to answer that with uh, no, which is dud. So Dubba, so he's going to he's saying he's saying again, me, I dislike uh, Dud Bear. Uh, no. Uh, Dud Bear, I say yes, that's a lot of things, so, uh, you and me, friends, sing, yes, so you and friends, yes, 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 so would you, buy, uh, would you like to buy some lamps, there you go, so that's how it's going to go. It's kind of complicated. There's a lot of words that are basically the same, like dud, dub, dubba, dada, and things of that nature. I even started talking, <laughs> saying some Portuguese there. But that's how it's going to work for us. So first, let's sell to every single one that I can meet outside here. I don't know if there's going to be enough of them. So let's try the second one here. So, ba, 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 de, ba, ba. So, uh, ba, it's night. So, uh, night music. So, the first one is night music. And the second one is uh, stars in the night. So, night music, night stars, uh, yes. So, you, yes, night, so he's, he's probably saying, do you like the night? I say, yes. So, uh, you, you, are you a friend? Yes. So, you and me, friends, yes, yes. Would you like to buy a lamp? There you go. So I'm getting better. S such a unique thing to do in a game. Like, uh, write down some words and try to make it work with the, the local bear population. The local, I mean. Alright. Do the boo boo, do the boo boo. So, uh, uh, boo boo, where's boo boo here? Oh. You. Uh, you dud bear, me, right? Yeah, you dud bear and me dud bear. Uh, no, we are different. So, uh, you, yes, uh, where is the other one? Night, yes, I like night. So, as you can see, it's getting more complicated as time progresses here. So, you, many, so, you, many, night, stars, yes, yes, so there you go, friend, yes, so he liked it, would you like to buy a lamp, sold all the lamps, there you go, 
So he wanted many uh, lights to shine uh, in the night, like stars. That's probably what he was trying to say here. That's why he sold. Uh, he's not he sold. <laughs> he bought all the lamps. I thought it was going to take forever. It didn't take like even five minutes. <laughs> Writing it down took longer. I literally wrote it down in my notebook here. So I need to go back to the store. I think is up here. Or not? Yeah, I think it's here. I don't remember actually. No, no, no. This is the the one that sells materials. So dub, dud, dada, bubba, the bubba. How would you even pronounce that? That's a mystery. But as everything uh, surrounding this game here, really. It's not really about what it is, but how it feels, in a way. That's the uniqueness of this game. It's way more like a, a game that you are supposed to like experience than necessarily understand, you know what I mean? Alright, so I need to find the place in which I got the quest. I don't remember where it was, I think. Either down here, it was in a shop with a lady, probably behind here, yeah I think it's probably here. Here I sold out the lamps man, you sold them all, I did, what talents you have, powers of translation. So it's now time to open your heart to me sweet Monique. Come with me, I'll show you what true love is. Well, what about the reward? Come on, man. Oh, my strawberry. We sold all of your six lamps. Oh my, that is wonderful. So you put your heart into making them, baby. Of course they sold. Then I shall stay here longer as, a, as the lamp maker. Oh, darling. Not as a lamp maker, you uh, will become the sunlight that will brighten my world. Ugh, this guy's so annoying. Come on, my love, let's go out to feel uh, the shower of stars above us. The world was created just for today to happen. <laughs> I was thinking about going out there too. I've been uh, inside six full days working on those lamps. So, out they go. So, I don't know what happened. I don't know if the quest is completed yet. I think we need to find them outside. Ugh, but their their diatribe here is freaking killing me. So Monique, I have a dream I wish to tell you. So sure, Gilbert. Uh, Gilbert, let's talk about our dreams. So just grab a passerby and I'll sell you all your lamps. So. The few fans of my lamps come from afar just to buy them. Let those dud bears do the dirty messy work. I really enjoy the time and effort that I put into them. Let's have a famous designer make a masterpiece. It's fun to gather odds and ends to make unique lamps. That's all we'll do and we'll be rich before we know it. I have no income, but the joy I get out of my work is what I live for. Don't you have dreams? This is depressing me. <laughs> yeah, her dreams are very uh, simple. Not dreams, like her way of life really. So every day is like a dream come true to me. You make me feel as I, as if I'm denying who I am. Come my princess, let's go out and see the world. Which of my dreams do you see as an illusion? My dreams, nightly dreams, hopeful dreams, Monique, our dreams don't seem to play in perfect harmony. Definitely not. I must leave this town to look for a new love. Jesus Christ. Oh my, Gilbert. You came to that conclusion qu quickly? Yeah, that's my thoughts. <laughs> that's, those are my thoughts exactly. After I recover from this shock, I too shall find a new love. Goodbye, love. I shall never forget you, baby. <laughs> sure. Goodbye, Gilbert. Goodbye. So it, it didn't work out, but at least it was pretty quick, right? So what was the point of selling the lamps, really? 
probably th there was no point. So Gilbert was a little bit strange, but he was a nice guy. He wants a much bigger lamp than the little ones I have. Size is completely meaningless, because all that matters is that it works, right? To be honest, I just, I'm just a little bit depressed. Oh, there comes the dud bears. The ones that probably bought the lamps, right? Oh, so let's translate this. <laughs> That's a lot of things. So, uh, he's saying, You, lamp, yes. So you made good lamps, probably. Uh, very, very yes. So very good. So you make good lamps, very good lamps. Oh my. So, uh, da means uh, stars. Yes, friends. So you are a friend of the stars. Uh, uh, yes, yes. That one I've never seen before. I actually don't have this one here. Uh, the bad. Uh, yes, yes. So basically praising her for her ability to create stars in the night. Basically, that's it. Which are the lamps? Really, you think so? Uh, Dada is lamps. So, no, oh, so probably she, he was thank, thanking her. So, oh no, I'm the one who should uh, thank you. So, she does understand the language, which is really nice. So, they are praising her for her work. So, probably they want, uh, they don't want her to leave, right? So, the dud bears told me that they really love my lamps. This is why I love this job. This is so great. Here, uh, take this. Oh, there you go. We got the artifact. Oh, two artifacts. There you go. So we did it. A lot of translation going on. That was the, the quickest love, sto love story of all time. The guy was like, eh, you know what? You don't think like I think, so whatever. Okay, so I got the trembling spoon. The sand rose, the medallion, and the flame. Alright, so I have no idea which one I should take with me here right now. Right now I don't have any other quests other than the Seven Wisdoms quest, which is the quest from... for uh, Bud, which is one of my companions here. So actually, let's take him instead of uh, Lisa this time around. This quest didn't involve any type of combat, so I'm going to just switch between them here. Oh, I actually, I did have butt. I actually don't even pay attention. Alright. Okay, now that we need to talk to the cactus boy here. There you go. So talk to him, uh, dub. <laughs> so now he's, he was going to start talking like the dub bears too. Okay, so now I can save on the second uh, slot here because I thought I messed it up the first time around. I was trying to sell the lamps, but turns out you can try again, which is great. It's kind of very confusing. And because I'm not a native English speaker, that makes it even uh, harder because I'm dealing with two languages I don't completely understand. So let's see what he wrote down here. Gorgon's eye was already there. Fairy's light. So learned dude bear words to sell lamps to dirt bears. To dirt bears, just what is master up to? But it's uh, neat that the master comes by to tell me funny stories like that. So as you can see, he, he enjoys it. So the idea is to go back, like learn some new things, and go through some stuff, and then I, I come back. And tell him the stories. Oh, there you go. There's a big one here. Boar melon. Wow. There's another one. Another boar melon. Yeah. So let's give him give the the tree here another seed. Oh, there you go. 
All right, so uh, get a small seed and another small seed. Let's check what these two give us in combination. Oh, wait. Let me try this again. I need to read the dialogue I skipped. All right, so this seed may not bear the f all the fruit it can. Ah, I see. So there are certain combinations that don't work. So probably like using the same type twice, probably not a good idea. So I should use two different types. There you go. Oh, this one is not that great either. All right, let's try. Those are good seeds. Come back. Sure. So let's go, bud. So let's put another artifact down. Okay. Actually, let's see if this guy has any new dialogue. Yeah. No. So, so far we didn't get the, the pets to put in the corral. Alright, Sandrose. The ones we got first were Flame and Medallion, so let's check this Flame one first. Um, let's put it here. Oh, it's also a new city, I guess. Oh, Gato. Or as I'm calling it, Gato. Which is where that girl we met in... We actually met her twice. We met her in Domina, in the tavern. And we also met her in the Luon Highway. So she told us that she come from this place. So she's probably going to be here. So I think this is a city, not a, a exploring map. So let's check it out. There you go. So let's go to this side first. So as I told you guys before, I settled on the name. I'm going to call this Gato because it makes more sense for me. But probably the correct way that you guys would say it's Gato, right? So these are the Gato Grottos. Uh, the, they are well known for the Temple of Healing. Sure. Can I enter here? No. The Flame of Hope. New quest. So, excuse me, but are you feeling alright? Uh, my tummy hurts. Oh, could you help me take care of him? Uh, sure. Thanks. Oh, my tummy. Come on, try to walk uh, to that shop over there. Oh, no, I can't. Someone help me. Why are you running, bro? I wonder if he's alright. Uh, alright, uh, obviously not. So what's the deal with that guy? Maybe the mountain paths uh, were out that sproutly? Maybe. <laughs> Item shop. Oh, this character looks really cool. Probably an important NPC, right? So, this store probably sells materials, I'm guessing. No? Sells weapons? So, uh, yeah, we still... Th that true spear drop that we got really is doing a lot of heavy lifting here. We are kind of ahead of schedule in terms of damage. Okay. So, let's talk to this NPC here. So, no, not this one, these two, no sparkle to it. So, excuse me, are you looking for gems? Uh, well, yes, I guess. I'm sorry I cannot sell you uh, this stone. Without any sparkle to it, a stone is useless. I see. My name is Alex, and I own a jewelry shop in uh, Geo. I see. So, if we need something related to these types of stones, we should look for her. I'm selling the minerals I've, I've mined, so uh, every city has a a seller of these types of items. So let us pray that, uh, to the spirits of wind and fire, that the people of the world may live in peace. 
If it was that easy, bro. Alright. So let's go up more here. Who's that guy? So I'm Rubens, a firekeeper for this town. Let me ask you something. I hear a thief is after the temple's flame. Did you see anyone suspicious on your way here? Uh, it's probably, I guess. No, he's probably not involved. I guess it was just a rumor. The inspector exaggerates everything. So who's the inspector? What is that? Oh. So I'll check here first, then I'll go back. Oh. Took a while to get <laughs> the movement back. So this is the temple. Oh, I see. I can actually walk around. So let's talk to the guy first here. So please do not interrupt me. I'm praying. Uh, sure. Whatever. So let's go to this side first. Oh, this place seems very big. So watching her made me reach some sort of enlightenment. Enlightenment. I am in spiritual training here to reach enlightenment. Uh, the path is a long and tough one, but I think I see it coming. But I must not stop here, I will keep training for it. Sproutling, I don't think it's the, the one that has the the tummy pains. So uh, to live is to, li uh, is to live. Whoa, okay. It's very deep, bro. So deep that I didn't get it. Okay. Oh, I think this is the lay. This is the dream weaving room. This is the room for my old uh, of my old friend uh, Matilda. She is the priestess of this temple. Okay. So she's just a guard, I think. I don't know if it's the same. Of I think it's a race, right? So I don't think it's like exactly the same. Since our new priestess is not so strong-willed, oh. Unqualified people seem to have joined uh, our convent. I just needed to get that off my chest. So, we have dissidents here. So, all the old timers uh, here say the same thing to us. Nuns back in the day used to be more proper. <laughs> oh man. The sea of change. Okay. Oh, you guys are very like heavily dressed, so I don't think it, it has to do with dress codes probably has more to do with practices and things of that nature all right so i got the chests i don't think i'm supposed to be here like right now we'll probably have to be here later i actually don't even know if the quest we got is related to this place let's actually read the flame of hope solve the unsolvable in gato gato i see so the quest is clearly related to the person that wants to steal the flame of something. Alright, so the guy that was here is not here anymore. Cliff Terrace. It's a race, I don't know which one. So this is the Sproutling. So my tummy hurts, please help me. Let me see. Oh, it's a Popo Bug. It can cure almost anything. Help me. Just wait. That bug is the ultimate medicine. Let's just remove it. You're going to help me? I'm going to peel away a leaf to take out the purple. No! What a waste. Purple bugs are so expensive. I think Mrs. Rubens, uh, Mr. Rubens needed that medicine too. All right, Mr. Rubens comes here uh, too. It's not so nice up here. Okay, so he needs the medicine. Okay,
So I'm glad that we started to explore the city on this side. Because that means that we can probably look for the guy on the other side. Oh, I see. You cannot pass this point. Please turn back. Oh, I'm trying to like go around the yellow dot here, but I don't think it's possible. Yeah. It's not. So the city is basically only that side. So either I'm not supposed to explore this yet. I need like a piece of the puzzle, like another artifact first. Or the guy is inside one of these buildings here. But the only one that I can open is this one. I came here to buy some gems, but good gems are hard to find. Okay, so we already talked to uh, Alex here. But I don't think she's involved in this one. Maybe. So I'm trying to enter everywhere here. But the guys, they are walking exactly where I don't need them to be. Yeah, so I can not enter any place in this side here. Nor here, okay. So let's, just, let's check this side one more time. And if you don't find anything, that means that for now we are not supposed to be here. Something's missing. Maybe this problem, yeah, that's why I thought this problem came here. Stop it. My tummy hurts. Yes, we know. Uh, please do something about the purple bug. Calm your soul and all worldly pains will vanish. Bullshit. But it hurts. You must meditate. Everything is in your mind. <laughs> sure. Some matrix level bullshit here. Uh, somebody help me. So the purple bug is the basis of the quest up, I think. So I need to keep finding him in different places here. Until we can progress towards some sort of goal. Her dialogue didn't change. So this place hasn't, hasn't been like really updated. Okay. He's back. Rubens is here too. My tummy hurts, help me, but don't tear off my leaves. Alright, my dear, come here, I will help you. Okay. Here, Mr. Rubens. Yes. <laughs> Duel. Was painful. Go ahead, Mr. Rubens. No, wait. Uh, well, don't you want to revive your petrified sweetheart? Yes, but... Oh, you meaning... So it did hurt. See, now he got away. I don't want to hurt anyone. So then you can't protect anyone, you're too soft. Like, uh, life is like this town. Cutting through rocks to make pathways. So we can't get to the top without a flame of hope in our hearts. Don't you think so? Okay. Only those strong enough survive. It's nature's way. So he's still contemplating the options here. So apparently the person he loves got petrified for some reason.
So they were trying to get the the bug from the Sproutling. Didn't work out. Or actually they had it for a moment. Oh my god. So oh, oh the detective is back. We saw him in Domina first. Aha, crime. The victim is a nun. Oh, genius. She has no external wounds. Uh, good to know. So, hey, you, don't touch the body. The body? It has no wounds. She's alive. Yeah, that's what I thought. I'm still alive. Oh, my apologies. What seems to be the problem? I twisted my ankle when the sprout thing bumped into me. Oh, I see. So the disguise her uh, so she disguised herself as a sprawling. So what could she want? Who is she? Blasted Sandra. Oh Sandra is the name of the character. Sure. So are you okay? Oh, so uh, we are not supposed to help her. So who the hell is Sandra? We know that the lady with the jam is called Alex. I don't even know if it's a lady or a guy, you understand? <laughs> Could be both. Yeah, these guys here will never give me anything useful. So Sandra could be this lady up here, right? Or not? Or maybe one of her race, really? Yeah. Oh, there you go. I will take care of her. Oh, thank you. Apparently we can't. <laughs> Alright, so a lot of back and forth in this one. So I need to keep like constantly finding the next stage of the quest for it to proceed. The next dialogue. So what is it? I think I'll get the Popo bug from that problem. Well, go ahead. I'm not going to do it. How callous. So you don't care one way or another about your loving Geo? Uh, how is it you know where she is? Good question, indeed. Don't mock me. Well, if you don't want it, can I take the Popo Bug? Fine by me. So you don't care whether it affects your girlfriend or the Sproutling, do you? Look, I don't want to interfere in anyone's life. And I don't want anyone interfering in mine. So just leave me alone. Never. Stones who lose their sparkle shall be punished. So we got attacked. How dare you? So come any closer or and I'll kill him. So do as I say and I won't harm your core. What do you want? So I want to see some tears. <laughs> Cry like a child and beg for your life. Jesus, what? That went south so quickly. So well, uh, where are your tears? But I can't. That's just too bad. Goodbye, Ruby Knight. Oh, so he got the item. So still alive, huh? So, uh, Jumi of the Lucidia are indeed uh, for formidable. So, as I warned you, I'm taking the Flame of Hope. So, I won't be caught so easily. See you around. That's probably like Carmen San Diego type character, right? Comes, takes the stuff, and vanishes. And you never know their motives and all that stuff. So, oh no. I was too late. Blast it. So it was you? No, it wasn't. Give yourself... Ah, I see. Give yourself up, Sandra. And take off that weird hat. So it was a nun. Sandra is a master of disguise, but I will catch her. That definitely looks like Carmen San Diego for me. Or to me. Okay. Uh... Diana, I wish I could see you again. I'm sorry. Oh, he died? Really? Oh, man. So 
But this is a lot complicated, more complicated than I thought. So the temple received a note from Sander, uh, Sander, uh, Jesus, the jewel t uh, hunter, I was just a thief. So it said that she will steal the Flame of Hope. I thought she meant the Sacred Torches, but she was after Mrs. Rubin's score. If only I had known that Mrs. Rubin's uh, was a Juni. I don't know how to pronounce that. So we must catch Sandra no matter what. So I need your help. Will you cooperate? Uh, sure. Oh, thank you. Something tells me that Sandra is still around this area. I will search the temple and the village. You go check the outskirts. Oh, now we can go to the other side. Let's go. Alright. Alright, so he's going to take care of the temple and the village, so I don't need to check anything else, I guess. So I don't know if, like, the attack that she performed killed the guy. Or if the fact that she got the core actually killed him. I don't know which one. Maybe both, right? Oh. Oh, I see. So Alex might be Sandra. Okay, so now we are going to finally explore something here. Okay. Oh, this problem. I see. So leave once you are finished. So why can I enter now? <laughs> no explanation. Just now you can go. Sure. So we need to help out the Sproutling. Oh, there's a lot of places to explore here. Bird meat. Sure. Well, so let's start from the first one here. Alright, let's go, bud. Let's go to yeah. Let's go to the right first. Oh, path up here. Angry eye, material probably. Flame quill. The names are quite dramatic for everything really. Is the enemy still alive or not? Oh, I see. Pathways of Ascetism. Okay. You can go down, you can keep going up. But let's just keep going up for now. Is this the one? I love air. Yeah, I don't think this is <laughs> this is the one. Okay. Yeah, actually moonwalking back to the enemies. It's actually faster than just walking. Good to know. Oh, a mimic. This place is actually quite complicated to navigate, to be honest. There are places that look like sets of stairs or entrances and are not. So for sure, I'll be just like this, for example. 
you think you can go down, but apparently you can't. The type of place that I'll have to explore multiple times. Oh, big snakes. Alright. So I can keep going here. Yeah, let's just follow him for now. So many entrances. Okay. Yeah, not on this side. Can go down again. <laughs> Cannot proceed here. Mm. Alright, I already have no idea where I am here at all. So let's just keep going. Alright, so we still have some sproutling leaves here. Oh, an ant. Maybe. Oh, that's a very stylish spell. All right. Well, we got through it. I don't know if there's anything interesting inside the caves, but we got through the caves. The pinnacle here. There you go. I can uh, get rid of the pain you feel. So she's probably going to kill him, I guess. Really? <laughs> yes. Ow. So it did hurt again. Oh, more company. Now I have you, Sandra. Are you going to pay for what you've done? Oh, there you go. So no one will ever catch me. Ta da, everyone! So up she goes. Blasted. Oh, oh, ouch. Oh, whoa, my tummy doesn't hurt anymore. So she got the bug out. I'm okay now. Oh, shut up. There's no time to celebrate. Oh. Another Jumi was murdered. This is horrible. So, well, I appreciate your help anyway. Please take this. Sandra, I will catch you one of these days. So this is the first run-in we had with her. She'll probably be like a recurring character, I guess. Let's go back in. I need to check if I have access to the cave, to the caves, like... For as much as I want. I think it's too late in the episode to like start a new artifact, so instead let's just explore the caves ag again. There's a lot of places we didn't explore there. Oh, Nicolo's here. Oh, hello, I'm here to gather green balls. You roll them up and steam them and it makes a delicious snack. So the green balls in Gato or Gato eat the droppings of the Kunkum bird. So they grow up nice and juicy. But I have to go through the dungeons to get them. Would you like to go gather some green balls with me? Oh sure, why not? <laughs> we won't get along. Sure. Get rid getting rid of this one is kind of a brutal way to save. So green balls are best when they are fresh. So we have like a Nicolo's Business Unusual, part 2. So I'm glad we came back. We just got a new quest here. Alright, so let's save. Alright, so... 
we apparently have our, our first actual villain here that we need to deal with, uh, Sandra. Let me check the other places here if something changed. The temples on this side, right? Yeah. Oh. Since I went back, might as well go to the terrace here. So we had nothing. So what was that all about? I still don't know exactly. That's the idea of like the game's kind of... You can only progress the game when you like... You get the artifacts and you... To the dungeon or to the waterfall? Let's go to the waterfall first. I'll go back to the dungeon. Here we are. Oh, I see. So this is the place you wanted to check out. Alright, so I don't know if I need to actually wait, if I can just move. <laughs> I went back to the same spot, right? Yeah. So no signs of her. So I either need to wait here, I guess. So I have so many questions about the last quest. Who is she? Why did she need the core? Why did she kill the the Mr. Rubens? And she probably killed the Sproutling too. Why did she need the bug? Why she was dressed as a nun to begin with? Oh, fairy. What are you doing? Uh, waiting for Nicole? Basically, uh huh. What are you doing? You're in my way? Uh, talking to a fairy? What fairy? You're just imagining things? Oh, yeah, I can't see the fairy, but he, he cannot. I could. This is for you. Thank you. Oh, there you go. We got another artifact uh, for us. To show you my gratitude, here's 500 something something, okay. Oh, so that was a pretty simple quest, because uh, we already went through the dungeon, so we did not need to do it again. But that's probably what we're going to do in the next episode first, we're going to explore here. So we got the broken doll, the ancient tablet, sand rose, the trembling spoon, and the medallion, so we have five artifacts now. That's a lot. Another thing about the quest is like who is she working for? She might be on it for herself but she also might uh, be doing the bidding of somebody else. So we got Cabadillo. Uh, fish. We got Squalfin. Squalfin. <laughs> so this one is still growing. Uh, no. This one is also still growing. Some new seeds. Oh, round seed. That's a new one. So let's give him a round seed. And a big seed. Alright. I don't think there's any problem in doing that, Dennis. So 
So yeah, let's first uh, talk to the cactus boy here. Then I'll get one of the guys and we'll go back to to Gato or Gato. <laughs> Alright. Little bugs. So let's see if he actually writes something down that can actually help us here. Sorry. Lost Princess, Robin's Eye, Paris Light, Business 2. Uh, green balls look like locusts without their wings, but don't want to have that yummy. They don't look that yummy to me. I'd rather have fish for dinner. Yeah, most people would. I think. Mixed Business, Lost Prince. Oh, I see. So I needed to come here and talk to him before I did the quest. Nicolo's quest, I mean. Oh, that was a mistake. Luckily, I think I have an earlier save here. Before I finish the quest. Yeah, just a little bit before. So yeah, I'll do that for the next episode, probably. So we can read what he wrote down. Then we'll get one of the guys here. Then we'll go back to Gato and we'll explore the caves uh, as much as we can because that place is so complicated. Like two, in like the third fork, I was like uh, left or right, I don't know. I was already not sure where I was anymore, so it was <laughs> it was pretty quick. I instantly lost my way there. So uh, that's what we're going to do for the next episode, and also uh, we are going to put down probably another, at least one more artifact. So we can keep expanding the story here. So the idea for Sen uh, that Sandra had there was basically she sent a letter, which was a complete uh, head ha uh, red herring, right? Some misdirection, which was like I'm going to steal the flame of hope from the church. Turns out the flame of hope is basically just a a representation of the the actual thing. Which was the core for Mr. Rubens, which happens to be a red jewel, right? Flame of Hope and all that stuff. So now, uh, she has the jewel, she has the bug. We don't know why she did that. We don't know if we're going to meet her again, or how important she is for the story. But, my experience in JRPGs tells me that every single time you meet a named NPC, for sure they are important to the story. So I'm still not, I'm still not sure if Alex and Sandra are the same person. Maybe. But uh, that thought, that's all the info we have uh, right now. So uh, in the next episode, we'll continue the story. So thank you very much for watching. And I'll see you guys in the next episode.